Well, here's this little uh, pulse motor that is triggered optically running on uh, ambient uh, solar light uh, being triggered by that and that's the light coming through my window on a sunny day and this is the uh, the lux that uh, this is seeing if I point this at the window that's the uh, lux meter right there and that shows you the amount of light that it's taking to trigger this and I'll put a radio here so you can hear it and I can actually tune this by moving this around and that's going to slow down now and that changes the angle on the uh, the light hitting the motor I can also turn it off just by putting my hand in front of it you notice that staticky sound I find that very interesting um, I'm real curious why the motor makes that kind of sound but the, anyway that's the little motor running on uh, light coming through a sunny window on a sunny uh, day and uh, that's the kind of uh, light it takes to make this go and that's a lux meter set on uh, 2000 very curious little motor I put a little collar a plastic tube with some black tape around it to shield the uh, photo transistor and um, that allowed me to be able to pull this off with the light hitting the wheel and bouncing off of the magnets let's show you that the way this is is um, there's magnets on there that reflect the light and when that reflection hits that photo transistor it triggers this circuit and the power to run it is coming from a double-a battery uh, putting out about 10 milliamps let's see if I can get this to go again here and there it goes but yeah I found that very interesting that um, a photo transistor if you hit it with light ambient light now this will run off a lamp of course also but uh, I just thought that was really, really interesting, and I thought that was really an easier way to trigger this than a reed switch. And as long as you had an ambient light source, uh, that motor will run, and that'll run for a long, long time. There's no parts to wear out on it, um, as long as you had a light source that was putting out a lux uh, reading of about that. Actually, it's about that. If I point that out the window. And last time I showed this running on a candle source, of course, uh, it's really the infrared that's uh, causing this to go. But uh, very, very interesting little motor to study. And there have been some real interesting comments about triggering that with sound, um, replacing the photo transistor with some sort of a trigger based on sound. And then um, backup CPU. Um, was wondering if I could actually power this off the candle using a felt a module and then using the light from the candle like I showed in my last video to do the triggering and I think that's totally possible like I say the the power drain on this is uh, about 10 milliamps at about a volt and a half and I think uh, a couple of felt a modules in series uh, running off that candle source would do the job Anyway, that's the uh, latest on the little um, optically triggered uh, pulse motor. Thanks for watching.